The Syriac Orthodox Church is quite unique for many reasons. Firstly, it presents a form of Christianity which is Semitic in nature with a culture not far from the one Christ himself experienced. Secondly, it employs in its liturgy the Syriac language, an Aramaic dialect akin to the Aramaic spoken by Christ and the Apostles. Thirdly, its liturgy is one of the most ancient and has been handed from one generation to another. Fourthly, and most importantly, it demonstrates the unity of the body of Christ by the multi-ethnic nature of its faithful. The Syriac Orthodox faithful today live primarily in Middle Eastern countries and the Indian state of Kerala, with many communities in the diaspora. The Church is present in the Americas and Europe as well. I am Archbishop Severius Melke Murad, Archbishop of the Syrian Orthodox Church in Jerusalem, Jordan, Holy Land. I came here before uh, 13 years in 1996 and my parish here it is in Israel and uh, Palestine and in Jordan. I am serving here our, my church and about my church, Syrian Orthodox Church, we are present here since 2000 years. Why? Because uh, our Lord Jesus Christ made here in this place, in St. Mark's convent, in the old city of Jerusalem, he made here uh, the Last Supper, and Holy Spirit came, and all uh, acts happened here, uh, especially uh, for St. Mary and disciples. They were living here many days uh, until uh, our Lord Christ went for the sky to the heaven day of ascension and after that they came here all saint mary and disciples until holy spirit came upon them and from here the church established it began from here and from here they went to all jerusalem and holy land and all of the world our church from its very inception in the first century has been called and was known throughout the world only as the Syrian Church. The name Syrian to us does not only designate the name of a country, but also designates the proper name of the church that was established in Syria and used Syriac, or Aramaic, the language of the country. Therefore, it became the religious name of our church wherever located in Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, Turkey, Jordan, Egypt, India, Europe, North and South America, and Australia. This church is the one church that has preserved the ancient culture and language of Syria, together with the valuable literature and liturgies of the ancient apostolic church of Antioch. And through the history, our church uh, uh, work hardly in the uh, processing the Bible for everywhere. According to ecclesiastical tradition, the Church of Antioch is the second established church in Christendom after Jerusalem, and the prominence of its apostolic see is well documented. The church justifiably prides itself as being one of the earliest established apostolic churches. It was in Antioch, after all, that the followers of Jesus were called Christians, as we are told in the New Testament. The disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. Year 60, 60 after that he established, he, he ordained, ordained two bishops or two patriarchs in his chair. One, his name was Aphodius, another name was Ignatius. The Church of Antioch was thriving under the Byzantine Empire until the 5th century, when Christological controversies split the Church. After the Council of Chalcedon in AD 451, two camps of the one Church emerged. The Greek Church of Byzantium and the Latin Church of Rome accepted Chalcedon, but the Syriac and Coptic churches rejected the Council. Well, the Church suffered uh, face and very problem 
about the uh, na nature of the, our Lord Jesus Christ, if it is one or two. So the chair divided uh, two, two sides. One side, the Syrian church and Coptic church and Armenian church, and with us, uh, Ethiopian and Indian. And another church, uh, the Greek Orthodox here, and also the Catholic church, and after that, the Protestant. Uh, Protestant. We said, uh, for our Lord, he has one nature after he born. Before, of course, it is two. God became a human being. God and human being, two. But when he will born, we can't say two. It is one, but in, inside this one nature, there is two. God and man inside. So the problem happened, uh, happened uh, I think it is a problem of the world how to understand each other. But uh, in fact, we don't see nothing uh, problem between us. Public prayer is important in Syriac Christianity. Traditionally, the Holy Eucharist is celebrated every Sunday, Wednesday and Friday. Nowadays, only monasteries observe the Wednesday and Friday Holy Eucharist. Monasteries and some churches observe daily prayers known as Shimmo, simple prayer. Apart from sermons, all prayers are sung in the form of chants and melodies. Thousands of tunes and melodies existed, most of which are unfortunately lost. Still hundreds of melodies remain, and these are preserved in the treasury of tunes, known in Syriac as Beth Gazo. It's about uh, Holy Communion. We have many steps continue. I think it is the same in all churches, Orthodox churches and Catholic churches. But who is, uh, who is the di different between us and Catholic Church when the Holy Spirit will come? With regard to the sacraments, the Syriac Orthodox Church believes that the Holy Sacraments are tangible signs designated by the Lord Christ to proclaim the divine grace which he gave for our sanctification. The sacraments of the Church are Baptism, Confirmation, Eucharist, Repentance, Priesthood, Anointing of the Sick and Marriage. Holy sacraments are offered by the bishops and the priests. Only believers can receive the sacraments. All but four of the sacraments are essential for salvation. Baptism, Confirmation, Repentance and Eucharist. Of the sacraments, Baptism, Confirmation and the Priesthood may be received only once. The Syriac Orthodox Church has been a member of the World Council of Churches since 1960 and is one of the founding members of the Middle East Council of Churches. The Church takes part in ecumenical and theological dialogues with other churches. As a result of these dialogues, the Church has issued two joint declarations with the Roman Catholic Church and another with the Eastern Orthodox Churches. Since uh, 30 years, in 1970, 75 and 80, our uh, patriarchs, patriarchs Jacob, the Holy Pope in Rome, uh, to, to be one, in, especially in seven sacrament. If, uh, if the Catholic Church, they haven't a church in the one of the cities in Syria and everywhere, and we have Syrian, we can baptize the Catholic uh, children will give him Holy Communion and what they need, but they will stay Catholic people, don't uh, change. So we need our brothers abroad to pray for us and we ask also all the president and kings in the world and Prime Minister, Minister, everybody to help here Jerusalem Holy Land to establish the peace and unity and security for everybody, for the Christian and Jewish and also Muslims to participate together for building of this Holy Land and uh, giving 
all goods for our children, our people, our men and women. And thank you very much.